Hey guys, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad has a new update. This is a minor update. We have now version 19.1.1. When you come here to the App Store, I already updated everything. If you click here on more, you will always see what is the new added features. And basically they addressed a couple of bugs and bug fixes and everything. But the one thing that is now completely new or an update is the ability to import and export Final Cut Pro version 1.13 XML files. We could already import XML files, but this is just a newer version of XML. So if we open DaVinci Resolve, let's check if we still have all of the pages in the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve. So my project is still loading. I can use this. I can use my shortcuts. And as you see, I still have the edit page. I still have the fusion page. All of this is still working on the iPad. As I said, this is just a minor one, but now you see it works on the iPad. You have all the other pages. If you're new to my channel, I'm Daniel. And on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I also have a masterclass where I teach you from beginner to pro. So definitely check out the link in the description. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong, and we see us in the next video. Bye.